The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. God is faithful to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from them all. And when I see your faith in the blood, I will pass my judgment over you, says the Lord. I will forgive their sin and remember it no more, says the Lord. For God made Jesus to be sin for us, who knew no sin, so that we might be made righteous by God through him. We have received God's wonderful, gracious, free gift of righteousness. By grace we have been saved, through faith. It is not done by ourselves. It is a gift from God. It is not by our works so that we don't boast in them. I will let my people enjoy abundant peace and safety, says the Lord. The Lord will take good care of me. The Lord will guide you always and satisfy your needs. God, who did not spare his own son Jesus, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Those who walk in God's right way and speak what is right, their bread and water will be supplied to them. God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. If you seek God with all of your heart, then you will find him. Draw close to God, and God will draw close to you. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. Help me, God. Jesus said, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Ask, and you will receive, that your joy may be full. This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything that is according to his will, we will receive what we have asked of him. Learn to be content with the things that the Lord gives you. Continually praise and thank God. God is our place of safety and strength, a very present help in our times of trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed. For I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. God has said, I will never leave or forsake you. So we may boldly say, God is my helper. I will not fear what evil people can do to me. Though an army may come against me, my heart will not fear. 
Jesus learned to obey God through the things which he suffered. Paul said, Follow my example like I follow Christ's example. God can work out everything which happens to us out for our good. I am able to do everything that I need to do with Christ who helps me to do it. Jesus is now living in me. Jesus said, Do not worry about your future needs, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? But instead, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of these things shall be added unto you. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. And though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, and your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The church continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, in the breaking of bread and in prayers. Then fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. Now all who believed were together, and they had all things in common, and they sold their possessions and goods and divided them among all as any one had need. So continuing daily and breaking bread from house to house, they ate their food with gladness and simplicity of heart, praising God and having favor with all people. And the Lord added to the church daily those who were being saved. Jesus said, Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. For this world is not our home. We are looking forward to our city in heaven, which is yet to come. For we know that when this earthly tent that we live in is taken down, when we die and leave these bodies, we will have a home in heaven, an eternal body made for us by God himself, not by human hands. We grow weary in our present bodies and we long for the day when we will put on our new heavenly bodies like new clothing. We know that while we are in our bodies here on earth, we are absent from the Lord. We would much rather be absent from our body here on earth than be present with the Lord in heaven instead. I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the old heaven and the old earth had passed away. And I heard a loud shout from the throne saying look the home of God is now among his people he will live with them and they will be his people and God himself will be with them he will remove all of their sorrows and there will be no more death or sorrow or crying or pain anymore for the old world and its evils will be gone forever and the one sitting on the throne said, Look, I am making everything new now. 
God gave his faithful children great careers of being kings and priests in his heavenly kingdom forever. God will give his children everlasting joy forever in heaven.